Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's shower time first. Uh, this is the Japanese shampoo I've been using and the Rejoice conditioner. And next is the body shower cream I have been loving so much. It's from Korea. Now moving to the facial part. This is the Panasonic facial machine and the Fanko powder wash. Is that what they call? All you need is pour some powder into the machine and add some water. And once you turn it on, the foam is generated in 5 seconds. And now you can start to wash your face. This machine has saved me so much time and I've been enjoying using it. to the skincare section. I'm gonna clip my hair back and put on some paper mask. According to the packaging, it says it had ingredients like ginseng, honey and pearl. I'm not sure if that's true but I do smell ginseng. Now I'm just squeezing some extra accents from the back before I put on the mask. I always prefer jelly texture than a paper one. It makes the mask so much better. I'm gonna set the time to 18 minutes. One of the best thing about jelly mask is it doesn't dry out your skin like the paper mask does. Now I'm just massaging my face before the next step. I'm using the IOPE Bio Accents and pack it on my face. This is my favorite eye cream from YSL. It really helps for my dark circle. And my other favorite from YSL is the Forever Youth Liberator Serum. This baby is so expensive, but it does the job. And then last but not least is the Korean brand Dr. Lee for moisturizing again. It only takes one pump each time to apply all over my face. And the texture is so light and you won't feel sticky with it. Now I'll start my makeup with the primer. I'm using NYX Angel Velvet. For the applicator for the foundation, I'm using Real Technique Sponge, dab it with some MAC Fix Plus. Even though it's winter now, but I'm gonna check out my summer favorite MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. This is also waterproof formula, and it stays on my skin and also with a very good coverage. I'm only using this concealer because I have an acne scar I have to conceal. And I bought this shade way too dark so I have to mix with the foundation to make the color lighter. As you can see, the shade is still a little bit darker than my skin tone but I'll work with it. I'm gonna take the loose powder brush and yeah, set my foundation. And by the way, this loose powder is very famous. It's a Japanese brand. It's not expensive at all, but it lasts forever. I always brush my brow before I apply any brow product. This is the ColourPop Brow Gel in Honey Blonde.
Whenever I use a brow gel product, I always like to set my brows with the brow powder. I'm gonna use the Blorac Pro eyeshadow palette and use the matte brown shade and go all over my eyelid with an eyeshadow brush. This is a clean eyeshadow branding brush. I'm gonna go and brush out all the harsh line. Now I'm gonna take another contour eyeshadow brush with the darker brown shade and apply it on the outer corner of my eye. And always remember to blend everything together. Time for the eyeliner. I'm using MAC Gel Liner in Black Check. Yes, I'm gonna use another eyeliner. This is the liquid liner from Maybelline and it has a sharper end so it's easier to draw my wing with it. Now this is the fun part. I'm gonna take Colourpop gel liner in Get Paid. Seriously, this is the most beautiful rose gold color I have ever seen on a makeup product. And as you can see, this is so pigmented. I'm gonna go all over on top of my black liner and all the way to the wing. And fix the little mess with the liquid liner again. If you have no lashes like me, Flossies is your best friend. I chose the natural style of lashes because I want to focus on my eyeliner. And now, this is one of my favorite part of makeup, contour and highlight. I'm gonna contour my cheekbone, jawline and forehead. I designed it to go for a little bit bronzy look and apply it under my cheekbone again. Now I'm gonna take a smaller brush to contour my nose to make it a little bit slimmer and taller. This is the mineralized brush from MAC. I like it because it gives me the natural shimmer look. I will never ever forget to highlight. This time I chose a golden shade from MAC. More, more on my cheekbone and a little bit on the tip of my nose. Now I'm gonna take a white eyeshadow to highlight my brow bone. And I always go for a setting spray after my makeup. This is the Urban Decay Oil Control Setting Spray. Alright, almost forget to highlight the inner corner of my eye. This is the MAC pigment in Lily White. It doesn't need to dab it with Fix Plus, but it's still super pigmented. Now I'm gonna draw my bottom lash line with the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner in brown and smudge it with the eyeshadow later. To 
with your final step, your lipstick. This is from Colourpop, the lipstick in Lady. This is the burgundy color perfect for fall winter. And I'm putting a lip gloss on top of the lipstick. This is a brown shade from MAC Fenty Fly Lip Gloss. I love it so much because it smells like chocolate and also it won't feel sticky at all. And now the makeup is done! I appreciate Colourpop made that gel liner. This is so beautiful. And this is the bodysuit I've been wearing today. As you can see, it's a little bit see-through. It's not a little bit actually. But yeah, it's sexy but I will wear a jacket on top so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna put these earrings on. This earrings is bought from Forever 21. I'm not gonna do much to my hair, I'm only gonna add some volume to the roots of my hair because it gets oily so fast. And by the way, I am so sorry I didn't get to film my whole outfit and I was gonna vlog a little bit but I was too wasted. <laughs> so anyway, I'll put some snapchat at the end of the video. And yeah, never leave home without perfume. I'm that kind of girl. This is the trousers I will be wearing, and please excuse my messy room. And thanks for watching. What about me?